Holding, burn boss. Ray, I'm back here uh, at the test fire and everything looks good. We're here at the Clive Reynolds Family Mat Island uh, Marsh Preserve. We're currently in the process of conducting a prescribed burn. We're conducting a 220-acre burn in uh, coastal salt grass. Uh, it's actually sponsored by the Global Fire Initiative of the Nature Conservancies. Uh, we've got, this is quite a collaborative effort today, we've got not only our, our staff uh, from the Nature Conservancy, our firefighters um, um, here, but we've also got uh, representatives from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, and Texas Parks and Wildlife, actually. Uh, we've got representatives here from Mexico, uh, representing Pro Natura Noreste, uh, some folks from the, uh, what's the equivalent of their EPA in Mexico, uh, and some of our own staff, uh, Nature Conservancy staff from Mexico. Uh, we also have some representatives here from China uh, who are very interested to learn about prescribed fire. <laughs> The folks from uh, Mexico, um, uh, most of them are from the uh, Tamaulipas uh, area, Laguna Madre de Tamaulipas. Uh, they have very uh, similar habitat uh, along that lower portion of the Laguna Madre and uh, similar fuel types, uh, similar habitat, and so they are extremely interested in, in kind of seeing fire behavior here, how we conduct these fires, and of course eventually trying to develop uh, a fire culture. Well, um, we are here, um, we are uh, trying to uh, be part of a intercultural exchange with the TNC College here in Texas, um, who are the experts in the fire management and, and, and people who have, you know, developed a strong um, and consistent uh, methodology for, for doing the prescribed burns. And we are here to, to learn more about this, um, these issues uh, because we believe that we have to incorporate this uh, fire culture in, 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 in our uh, uh, conservation sites in the other side of the border. They are teaching us about prescribed burns. To the extent that it is done in our country, it's not in a controlled fashion. It's not something that's undertaken by government agencies. Rather, it's landowners themselves who conduct the burns. In China, it's very rare to intentionally set fires. Normally, the focus is on prevention and on putting out wildfires. After what I've seen here, though, I may experiment with fire in a small, confined part of the refuge. Uh, the crew that you see behind us, uh, the Nature Conservancy staff, are not only uh, coming from our nearby Referio Goliad Prairies uh, fire program, but also the Hill Country. Uh, we have some representatives and firefighters from the Hill Country. Uh, and we do uh, prescribe fire throughout the state, uh, everything from the Piney Woods in East Texas, uh, our prairies in uh, the north part of Texas, West Texas, uh, and Central Texas in the Hill Country. You know, we uh, adhere to some pretty stringent uh, national standards in terms of how we uh, conduct our prescribed fire as well as the safety uh, aspects. Um, and so, uh, Conservancy is, uh, you know, we're, we have highly skilled, highly trained, highly competent uh, fire practitioners uh, that conduct these burns and we're well equipped. Uh, and of course, obviously, safety is our, our utmost and main concern. Two months ago, we did a uh, prescribed burn on this location uh, on the preserve. Uh, it was about uh, 300 acres. It was a very good burn. Had a number of folks out here assisting on it. It went re real well. Everything was uh, everything was black out here the, uh, the when we left the last time, uh, which was what we desired. We wanted to clear it up, clear off all of the the decadent vegetation and and uh, rejuvenate the area. And uh, I'd say looking at uh, 
at the area out there, I think we've done a pretty good job of it. We knocked back the brush that was encroaching on the prairie and the grass has responded really well. Uh, this is two months growth and we're up a foot high or better on some of the grasses. The cattle love this. They get in an area where it's been burned recently and uh, there's new grass. Uh, sometimes there's the, the forbs and the herbaceous materials that uh, they, they prefer to eat as well as the grasses. Um, you'll find them gather into the black spots uh, that have turned green real quickly.